Hello everyone, hope you are having a great week. So there was a game on Sunday, January 9th, which was a few days ago. It was Kentucky versus South Carolina. Now I did watch that game and of course South Carolina won and Kentucky lost. So I don't wanna say I was, you know, it didn't surprise me that South Carolina won you know, I already knew, you know, South Carolina probably was going to beat them because I've seen Kentucky play before and they had, you know, their moments where they were losing games against teams that were better than them. Um, Kentucky, I think they have the potential to be a good team. It's just a, a lot of things they need to work on. I can see them being better in the future, but to be honest with you, I just don't see them going all the way to the Final Four. That's just my opinion. I mean, if they go all the way to the Final Four, I would be surprised. But the way that they play, I just don't think they have a chance of going to the Final Four. I already know South Carolina is going to the Final Four and possibly win a championship. And I want South, South Carolina to win the championship. But all I can say is, I believe South Carolina is going to go to the Final Four so far. As far as the championship, anything may happen. Because surprises always happen during Final Fours. So, let's root for South Carolina. Because I do want Don Staley to get another championship trophy. Because I love um, South Carolina team so much. And actually, today is Wednesday, January the 12th. South Carolina has a game tomorrow against Texas A&M that is coming on national television. Please watch it because I will be watching that game tomorrow. They play at 7 p.m. So, again, that is Texas A&M. I don't know if I said Texas the first time, but anyway, they're playing Texas A&M tomorrow. South Carolina is playing Texas A&M tomorrow. That's, this is the women's college basketball team. I'm saying it again. So, please watch that game. I, I just enjoy watching South Carolina. I really do. So, um, when they played Kentucky, the final four was South Carolina. The final four, I'm, I'm sorry. The final score was 74. South Carolina had 74. Kentucky had 54. Now, there's some, you know, some weaknesses that Kentucky have. They have some strengths as well. I did see some strengths in that team. Now, Kentucky, I'm going to talk about that team. They have some, they have a few good three-point shooters. They um, shot like four three-point shots and scored the bucket. So that's one of their strengths compared to South Carolina. South Carolina is weak in that area as far as having consistent three-point shooters. See, with South Carolina, you have to get them where their strength is. Normally, you will say get them where their weakness is, but you know with their weakness being three-point shots, it's hard because their strengths is going in the paint and having that person that played the center position score the bucket. Their strength is like shooting jumpers or um, having that center person, you know, score the buck in the middle. That's their strength. So I would say, like, you have to get them where they like to score their points, which is in the middle. They're either giving it to Aaliyah Boston to shoot it. They're giving it to Saxton. They're giving the ball to Bree Bill. I think those are the three that do the center positions a lot. And they score their buckets in the middle. Those are, like, the three that you would have to stop or triple team or double team on because that's where they're scoring their points. Um, another thing about Kentucky, they have a star player. Um, her name is, I can, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her, her name right. Is it Renee Howard or Ryan Howard? Excuse me if I'm mispronouncing her name. I know her first name is probably spelled R-H-Y-N-E, but her last name is Howard. She's one of the star players on Kentucky. She didn't play her best. I don't know if 
she was nervous or she felt intimidated, but she didn't play her best game that night. Um, with Kentucky, I felt like there wasn't no game plan on the court. I feel like there's a player named Edwards or Edward, who whatever her last name is, she was playing really good. And I saw that she had to force herself to the basket and score the layup because it looked like her team wasn't really into the game. Well, I mean, her team mates was not into the game, and I saw that. And I just feel like South Carolina just ran all over Kentucky. You know, it's a shame when you have five players on the court and then only one wants to win a game. It's sad. That's a shame. And that's what I saw with Kentucky. And like I said, the team need to triple team on um, the center position. Like, you have to actually force South Carolina to shoot on the outside. Like, I'm really starting to learn this South Carolina team. You have to force them to shoot on the outside. Get them where their weakness is. Make them shoot on the outside. Their strongest point is, like, in the paint, shooting jumpers. They have weaknesses like shooting like on the outside, like the long shots. So you have to make them shoot on the outside. Um, I don't know if I wrote some more stuff about Kentucky. Uh, that is about it with Kentucky. Um, I know that day, January 9th, when they played against Kentucky, it was Zaya's, Zaya Cook's birthday. So um, I would like to say happy, bir happy birthday to Zaya Cook. And let's talk about South Carolina now. Now, um, Aaliyah Boston, she and another girl, I know I wrote her name down. Okay, I think it was Saxton and Boston. They were just knocking the balls, knocking the ball out those girls' hand with the um, block shots. I just laughed. I kind of laughed at it because it was funny. Like it seemed like they were ganging up on them or beating them up, but they was knocking them balls out. So they were, uh, they were good with the block shots. I know Aaliyah Boston. She does a lot of block shots, but Saxon was in on it too, doing the block shots. I was like, oh my god. And then uh, with South Carolina. They have a lot of, you know, mostly a lot of tall girls on that team. Like, any of them can play center. So, they're like some really tall girls. Because, you know, some college teams, you may, some college teams have a mix of tall girls. And some have a mix, like, maybe average height, a little short. But, South Carolina, they have, like, a lot of tall girls. Not very short girls on that team. And there, and what else? Zaya Cook, she played a good game. So I'll make her the player of the game, the star of the game, because she played really well. She had 19 points, three assists, or possibly she could have scored another point afterwards, but I know she had a good amount of points during the game. And it looked like she was getting back on track with um, her game again, because I know there were some games that she played that I watched her in, and it seemed like she wasn't playing very well, but it looks like she's getting back on track now. And she seemed focused on um, scoring her buckets as well. And there is another player, Bree Hall. She plays good as usual. I think she scored like three point shot, but uh, she's a good, she's a pretty good player, Bree Hall. Oh, uh, there's another shot blocker on the team, Cardoso. She's another shot blocker. So it's Cardoso, Saxton, and Boston. They were doing the block shots. I did say Saxton and Boston, but Cardoso did a block shot too. So Kentucky had it rough. <laughs> you know, dealing with uh, Cardoso, Saxton, and Boston, they, they um, had no chance dealing with them because they were just blocking shots. And as far as the game, 
I will say that is about it, but just a reminder that can that South Carolina and Texas A&M, they play tomorrow at 7 p.m. And that is about it. Keep watching basketball. I'm going to do a video on the South Carolina and Texas A&M game as well. So um, have a good night.